Hi Virgo and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This reading is for January 2022 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general and won't resonate with all of you. You can always check your other placements as well. So let's see what comes through for Virgo. So some of you may be at a, um, a fork in the road, making a decision, wanting to make a change. Some of you are very close to making this change, to taking this leap. You are being guided to do this, I feel. Some of you have been in a situation where you've been wearing a mask and so has someone else potentially. You know, if this is a relationship, for example, both of you have been in your ego and something happens where this crumbles, the tower crumbles and you feel guided to move on. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this happen. If it's not a relationship, this is just, in your life, you feel you're not being yourself. You want to kind of show yourself to the world in some way. Let yourself shine with all that gold. And some of you do do that with new life. That's beautiful. This is the new you coming out of your shell, starting again. Transformed. Beautiful transition there for a lot of you. So let's have a look with the tarot as well. So that's beautiful to have the chariot. Again, you're being guided to move forward. Things could happen very quickly for a lot of you. Um, I'm seeing with the ten of water as well. Ultimate happiness, wish fulfillment. Maybe some of you want to travel or move home. With these two, I'm really seeing commitment. Someone here who wants to commit to you. Potentially someone very loyal, stable, serious. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer here. But this can also be you. So you may be moving forward in your career. Um, starting out on your own or this could be a new job you're going to do very well i'm seeing number 10 for a completion new beginning here a lot of you have really been persevering and um, sort of looking at your wishes with the nine and then the 10 here your wishes come true Now, yeah, this is definitely in love. Um, someone very emotional who enters your life. You meet them face to face. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a twin flame with a ten of water. 
But this is someone also you haven't seen in a long time. Coming in with a cup of love. Both of you aligned with the chariot. Yin and Yang. Let's get a little bit more on this messenger of water. Okay. So another messenger. I'm seeing this is the same person though. Um, someone grounded so you know it could be this king up here i feel that they were coming from their ego in the past there could be a leo as well very proud person who has had yeah has had to release some things from the past a lot of burdens this could be you as well Needing to release things from your past, find balance. This connection could be very balanced. I'm seeing you could work together because at the bottom of the deck we've got the Queen of Earth. Power couple. Very abundant together. This is someone you've been longing for. Yeah, they're in your heart. Sagittarius energy, be patient. I'm really seeing um, yeah, a masculine energy, divine masculine, can be man or woman, coming towards you. Because notice, you know, like the stag here, someone stepping into the power, knowing what they want. Very balanced. Start, wanting to start again. Yeah, they're going to find the strength. So that's coming through twice. We got a ten again. Ten of wands twice. So they may travel to you, yeah, with the chariot and the ship. Wow, another 10. So this person goes through a big shift in their life. They end something quite heavy. And then they reach out to you with a message of love. This is your destiny. Some of you know this. Yeah, it's like they unlock these emotions from within you um, and open a new door. You open a new door together. I'm getting here. 33, master number. So you're being guided on this divine path. They're being guided to you. Um, again, you might be getting a new home. The chariot there, moving. Yeah, someone who's on your mind, they've been through a lot of spiritual growth. I feel they might have even had health issues um, with that ten of wands twice. But they overcome and then it's like that helps them find answers within when they go through that healing process. It changes them, it's like a tower moment. Spiritual awakening. Okay, let's take some angels and ancestors. So stay rooted and grounded. First of all, if you feel yourself getting anxious, you know, with this decision, 
that came through here for some of you. Green here for the heart chakra, so maybe some healing needed for some of you. Beautiful that your energy came out, the hermit. So take time to go within to find your answers. Be at peace. Meditate. Take a break. Some of you are being guided to move beyond ancestral patterns. So karmic cycles that have repeated in history. And now in this lifetime, your lesson has been to overcome these very difficult experiences that, as I say, could be ancestral. So you don't, maybe don't even know what these things are, but they're within your DNA. I feel for some of you, it's around boundaries, finding balance, committing to yourself, knowing your worth, breaking free, you know, many things here. This is amazing. <laughs> That I'm saying about, you know, the hunter. Here he is, look, in this card, as I said, and here as well. So this divine masculine wants to track you down, <laughs> um, commits to you, they have their eye on you. They have some fears that they need to overcome, I feel, first of all. You do as well, I feel. That's why you're being guided to stay rooted and grounded. Okay, if you feel a bit off balance, it's really coming through a lot here. Yeah, there could be an age gap between you and this person. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, some of you, pretty big age gap. Some of you, not that big. So let's take some spirit animal. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Quite a few came out. So, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Some of you may feel that, but you're not. Spirit is around you, sending you loving energy. Life is a mystery. Yeah, some of you may be feeling that, you know, um, sort of wondering what's on the way. Bring your ideas to life. Dive deep. Be creative. With this new beginning. You know, some of you have it there in your heart. You want to do it. You're being guided to go for it. We've got 20, uh, 42, 24, mirrored number. You might be seeing numbers like that. So, chameleon, spirit, act as if, yeah, again, imagining these ideas you want to bring to life, act as if you've already got it, you know, these blessings, and then they will come to you. That's how the law of attraction works. We got the bear again, which we had before. Um, let's pull that out for you. So there's a message for some of you about being strong. It says take time out, which we had here as well. Retreat and recharge. So nurture yourself during this time. And the rabbit, now is a lucky time. Beautiful. 
definitely with this new life, you're going to be rewarded, I feel here, by the universe. Something new. Um, good luck on your side in finances, I feel. Okay, let's take some charms to finish. So we got an elephant for strength. Elephant doesn't forgive, sorry, doesn't forget, but forgives. Okay, it's interesting I said that, doesn't forgive. So everything happens for a reason. Some of you may not have forgiven, they're telling me here. And that's where, that's what you need to let go of with these masks, you know, things you're holding on to. Okay, symbol of good fortune as well, like the rabbit, that's amazing. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm getting a block throat chakra and we've got the blue. I was going to say it before, <laughs> this blue that came through. Some of you are not being honest with yourself um, in terms of these ideas you have. You're not speaking your truth. There's some healing needed there. Definitely around forgiveness. Because of what I said before, you know, does not forgive. Some of you have not forgiven. We got the tower, yeah, this is what I said before about a tower moment that this person may go through and maybe you went through a tower moment. Number 16 is the number of the tower. Something that really shook your world that you need to forgive yourself for, forgive someone else for as well. And the shoe is speaking about taking that first step on your journey in this new life showing ascension as well going it alone for some of you some of you want to travel i'm getting as well with the tower maybe um yeah which we had with the chariot wow Strong urge to sort of go away, get away, take time out. You are being guided to do that, the bear. Could be something around France. You'd like to go to France. You have some memories of France, maybe Africa. Maybe you're having memories of when you've travelled and you've got this urge again to do that. Okay, Virgo, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel. Sending peace, love and light to you all. And I'll see you soon.